I was born disabled and autistic with a genetic connective tissue disorder called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. So that affects all the soft tissue in my body. That's everything, skin, organs, muscles, brain, everything except for my bones. However, I did not grow up knowing about my disabilities. So I actually ended up leaving in-person public school in sixth grade and moving to public online school because I loved to learn, but the social aspect of being in a public school was extremely difficult for me. Um, but because of that, I was more isolated and people who would able to be recognize the signs of autism or the symptoms of my disabilities weren't around. So I was more isolated. I didn't get to find out about my disabilities until I was an adult. But while I was undiagnosed, I thought that I had the same tools and the same body as everybody else. I was just bad at using it. I was bad at being a human and I couldn't have been more wrong. So my diagnoses at 22 actually ended up saving my life and making me into the person that I already always had been. It didn't change the problems I had, didn't change the symptoms I had, it didn't change the list of diagnoses that go along with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome or autism, but what it changed was for me, it was no longer a question mark. I finally had a name and so since then, um, the last two years have been not only suffering, but also joy in finding that there's nothing wrong with me and I found a community that can support me. A lot of people call it the stretchy disorder because what happens is when I'm intaking the proteins needed to create collagen, my body creates faulty collagen and collagen is not a protein that's in all of our soft tissue. So my skin is stretchy, all of my joints and ligaments are stretchy, which causes chronic pain. It causes dislocations and subluxations, but beyond that, because the makeup, the structure of every single organ and muscle and tissue in my body is made different. That means all of those organs have the potential to have a problem. So I talk about it in the next question, but I have beyond Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. That's just the name of the genetic disorder that I have. But beyond that, there's a whole list of diagnoses that go along with it. My entire life, art, art and music have been a way for me to not only share my emotions, but also regulate them as an autistic person. Of course, I didn't know when I was growing up, that's what I was doing, but it was hard for me to verbalize what I felt to other people. So I would play hours and hours of the piano just by ear, expressing my emotions or scribbling in my sketchbooks or using pushing paint around on a page but art really saved me during the time when my life basically all came crum crumbling down. Um, in August of 2021, after worsening symptoms for over a decade at that point, I went to the hospital when I began having a piercing pain worse than I had ever felt before. And this was unimaginable pain as somebody who had already been dealing with chronic pain for their entire life and had a pretty high pain tolerance. This was something that I knew something was wrong. Um, after that day in 2021, I was bedridden and in constant torturous pain all throughout my abdomen. I lost my job. I had to drop out of my civil engineering degree that I only had a year left. I lost the, the ability to do anything around the house. I couldn't even go see my sister's graduation from high school. So over the next two years, I ended up seeing around 25 doctors. And in that time, I was diagnosed with the first Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, then autism, cervical instability. I have three herniated discs in my neck, dysautonomia. And finally, the biggest one was stage four endometriosis. With all that loss and all that desperate searching, I needed something that was mine to really hold on to. So I went back to what I knew and that was art for expression. I, um, I made however I could in bed or in five minute increments at my desk if I could sit up or on the floor or finger painting straight from the tube. So I actually have a piece from when 
one of my symptoms at the time along with all of the chronic pain and it felt like bugs were eating me from the inside and my organs were stapled together from endometriosis and the blinding vision loss and pain in my eyes were causing me not to be able to see but I ended up painting this piece um, finger painting it straight from the tube in my bed when I was having trouble seeing at that moment and I call it redemption because I was just hoping that something would change. And it did in July of 2023, I finally had surgery with an excision specialist to remove the stage four endometriosis. And since then, um, only about seven months, I've painted almost 30 paintings and those you can all see behind me. So these are just from the last seven months. My life ultimately changed from that surgery while I still have all of the other issues that I've been dealing with with my whole life. Um, that stage four endometriosis is finally gone after a decade of dealing with that. So I'm really thankful because art to me has first been you know, a childhood hobby and then it was a desperate lifeline when I needed it. And now I hope it can be a path for my future. So while I was in surgery recovery, my husband and I were invited to go out to a sunflower farm. And unfortunately, that um, was not accessible for me, but I really wanted to go because that's my favorite flower. As you can see, I have another painting of sunflowers behind me. Um, because it wasn't accessible, my husband, who is a very kind and wonderful caregiver as well, he took all sorts of photos for me and brought me home flowers so I can paint them. And in that way, he created a memory for me, even though I wasn't able to be there. And it really made me feel included in my own way. So when Claire was asking about a piece to give for the Positive Works auction, I knew exactly which one I was going to send in because the sunflower, sunflowers are my favorite flower but also it's the international symbol of invisible disabilities. So many of my disabilities were invisible for my whole life to everybody else but me. And many of the disabled community can relate to that feeling. And um, so I love that we have such a bright symbol to show our disabilities to the world in a sunflower. Um, and I'm not ashamed of my disabilities. So I see myself as bright as those flowers in the field that I painted, and I'm really proud of myself and excited to share with Positive Works and with the world. You aren't faking it. If you're feeling pain, your pain is real and you deserve accommodations, treatment, and support if they make your life better. Everybody does. Hi Froggy family, thank you so much for watching my interview with CVS about my art and disability story. If you want to support me, you can go to the link in description and bid on the piece Sunflower Fields. Not only does that support me, but it also supports the nonprofit Positive Work. Positive Work is a nonprofit that certifies workplaces to be more informed and accessible for disabled customers, employees, and employers. Accessibility helps everybody. I'm currently working on a video about how to be consistent as a tired, exhausted artist, but also I'm tired and exhausted, so it's taking me a little longer than expected. If you want to see what CBS aired for their segment of my interview, go ahead and go to this link here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!